The demilitarized zone known as the DMZ, which separates the two Koreas. The morale of communist soldiers here is usually a clear litmus test of just how well a piece of North Korean propaganda has been received. These were the scenes after the North's 2006 nuclear test. Straight backs and stony faces turned to smiles and casual stance. This time, the communist state's propaganda machine may, like its rocket, have failed to fully deliver its payload. International observers say before, during and after the latest launch, they've just been witnessing a whole lot of this. It's uh, the same as it was the last uh, two, three months ago. Business as usual. Yeah. But it's not just business as usual for North Korea's ruling elite. In Pyongyang, the party leaders trotted out the masses to celebrate the launch, which just happened to fall on the eve of the country's parliamentary elections. The event is a rubber stamp affair, but an ailing Kim Jong-il still needed the re-election he received today to consolidate his increasingly shaky grip on power. Just over a decade ago, parliamentary elections were also preceded by a failed launch, also aimed at strengthening dear leader's grip on the reins. If it sounds like deja vu, that's because it is. This follows a pattern in 1998 when they tried to launch a satellite as well, when they revised the Constitution and uh, the National Defense Commission was elevated uh, as an institution in, in uh, state affairs, and Kim Jong-il solidified his, his power. So the outcome of the election, more power to Kim Jong-il and the hardliners in a state where even the doves are, well, hardliners. And more than five decades after it was created, the DMZ shows no sign of being dismantled anytime soon.